you're learning today, we're going to learn of courage and perseverance. Since we've been going through many, many changes in all of our daily lives for the last month, month and a half, it's taken a lot of courage, and we've had to persevere to get through these times. Psalm 31, verse 24 tells us to wait for the Lord, be strong, let your heart take courage, wait for the Lord. Charles Fillmore defines courage as a spiritual quality that enables us to remain poised and centered in God at all times, no matter what the difficulties we're facing. As an expression of God, which each of us is, we are filled with new courage and a fearlessness that is beyond description. You see, this is our waiting period. This is a time when we must relax, come face to face with any enemies we may have, or any ones we may encounter from being alone. The word courage comes from Latin, meaning to have heart. Heart means to have strong principle. And this principle is one that comes from spiritual law. When God asks us to use the courage we are given by him, we must behold ourselves as bold, fearless, and unshakable in our courage. If not, then the opposite may manifest in our weak time. Now we need to ask, what do we honestly believe in? Are we fully awake and aware of Christ consciousness, which is supposedly leading each one of us if we'll yield to it and realize it? Is there any doubt in your heart? Please, in the silence, pray that you will be given the only truth there is. Don't step out until you can feel this in your soul, down deep inside. Remember, God takes away the if, ands, and buts and replaces each of them with courage to face anything that may come your way. Whether it's a virus, feelings of despair, loneliness or fear, or just simply being closed in, away from people, and not able to go out. Our God will never forsake us. Never. He will never leave us in any situation he's there. Mr. Price was a very renowned unity person and has won high awards from unity. And he tells us of a time when he had an experience of being in two places at the same time. He encountered an old man who continually asked him, what do you see? In effect, he was telling him, lift up your vision, walk only the high road, follow only the divine image, for only then will you be bold enough to do that which is yours to do. When we take courage and have only the high vision, there is no fearlessness. There is no dauntlessness. When we look down, we are in doubt. Stop and think. What am I seeing in my world? Where's my attention placed? Yes, we always follow our vision. We walk toward our dominant vision. God doesn't want us to walk in negativity or loneliness, but only in positivity. Lift your face up to the sun. Take courage. Look up. Follow your highest vision to the top of that mountain of hope and know deep within that nothing is impossible with God. Nothing's too big for you to conquer in this our human world. These times cannot conquer us. Belief in spirit tells us, 
follow me. Be not afraid. Come unto me. Be of good cheer. Learn of me. Fear not, for I am with you always. So it's now that we must persevere. Just to have courage is not telling you enough. We must persevere in our courage. With positive thoughts comes pure truth. We realize that we must preserve, persevere, and preserve a faith to have the positive truths we've been given. God doesn't want his children to despair. He wants us to face each day with happiness and a full heart, knowing that we can conquer anything. You have faith. The faith that will surpass all doubt. For are we not told that if we had the faith of a mustard seed, we can tell the mountain to move, and it will move there? This too shall pass any time we have a doubt. The sun is going to continue to shine. We must pray without ceasing, knowing that all good and peace has been given to us by our Father. We need to pray positively and pray in faith, knowing that we will never be left alone. We're given grace by our Father. We must know that in His grace, nothing can hold back our joy, our peace, and our love. We must begin to think of the good things that have come from all this and live to our fullest extent in each of our lives. Put on your unity positivity. Face each day with joy in your heart and a smile on your face. God will take care of this, and he'll take care of each one of us. No matter what, we must know this in our hearts. What has been changing in our lives has been an awakening in our lives. We've been given the time to know ourselves, and God knows us. To open to our grace, and to share our love with our teachers. Truly, nothing is impossible in our world. Nothing. But we can only accomplish it with our God-given courage and the perseverance our God has given us to succeed. He will always want you to succeed. God never wants anyone to be a failure or even a failure to themselves or feel failure. See? We cannot fail. Will you pray with me, please? Holy Spirit, Master Self, I am. Help us to recognize and acknowledge you as the only activity at work in our lives and our affairs. There's no other power Nothing that can affect us in the outer world. For you are the one force, the only power. None other exists. Help us to know that you are eternally shining as the holy sun and light of heaven and earth. We feel your radiance on each of us and in each of us and through each of us. We thank you, God, for never leaving us alone in our battles. We thank you for giving us grace to have the faith that we must have to face our battles. And so it is. Amen.